please send me your questions uh, to vote.a.martin at gmail.com and I can try and make videos out of them so everyone can know my opinion on certain topics. So this will be a very quick one and it's about uh, do I support policies to help reduce poverty and provide care for the poor? Uh, yes, of course I do and it's part of the Great Australian uh, Party's policy to look after Australians in need. And I have experienced homelessness in my own life and am aware of some of the services that are out there. Uh, they're usually provided by state government but you know the federal government can affect those both in terms of uh, you know making it easier to employ people or start your own business that kind of thing uh, eliminating unnecessary red tape and green tape uh, which is a good thing uh, also even things like the harmonization of uh, licensing as an example so just say if someone's a an electrician in XYZ state then they should also be able to be an electrician in the next state over instead of paying two separate uh, licensing fees that kind of thing. Uh, that's just uh, one little example because that way just say if someone lives uh, in the Gold Coast then they can service both to the north of them as well as the south instead of just to the north. Uh, which cuts out half their potential revenue. Uh, a lot of homelessness is based on uh, poverty and there are also certain uh, things that can be done, again state government issues, uh, but you know you can have someone in federal parliament telling the states that you know they should do XYZ. Yeah, that's interesting. They just come up with a notification that Bob Hawke just died in his sleep, apparently. Anyway, so interesting thing about Bob Hawke is my dad used to look quite like him in many ways in some of his earlier photos from, say, the 80s or 90s or whatever when my dad was a bit older. But Anyway, the, the government can also provide funding, of course, and tied grants, etc., to the states. And they can also, uh, you know, have certain policies in place, such as protectionism, uh, you know, supposedly a dirty word to protect your own country and strive for autarky, which is self sufficiency. But, you know, it's not really a dirty word. And there are certain people and media organisations, etc., that wish to, uh, you know, put certain connotations on certain words, even though they are undeserved. And there's also certain people that uh, misinterpret information, such as Adam Smith's The Invisible Hand, to claim that the best economic system is to have no forms of protectionism uh, globally in order to help the actual country. That is incorrect, it's not what was stated, it's false. And you know, we experience uh, this daily in Australia, which results in less jobs. So just a quick example is that you know you have these call centers in the Philippines or India, and often uh, and it's not being racist at all, but often you know you get phone calls from these people you don't know if they're scammers because there are scammers from those particular countries and you can hear a certain accent there are people that you can't even speak to because they don't even speak english and australia you know in australia we do speak english and that's a good thing it should be noted as the official language and whatever but if you get a phone call from your bank and the person sounds like uh, any one of many scammers that you can listen to on YouTube where people are claiming to be from the bank or the tax office or whatever, then that is also a security feature, but it also enables Australians to have jobs which improves our economy rather than you know, improving the economy of India that is richer than Australia anyway. And you know, sure, 
per person, they might not have the same wealth, but that's because they choose to be like that. You know, they choose to have one and a half billion people or 1.7 billion people for an area smaller than Australia. And, you know, a lot of people in Australia choose not to have children specifically because that way each child will, or, you know, not as many child children or whatever, so that specifically when they die or whatever, that their children can inherit more money per person. And again, you know, people can... Just have to wait for people to walk past, sorry. So people can have a whinge about that or misinterpret that. It's not being racist at all. Uh, it's just a fact that, you know, if you have a certain size pie and you have to share it among 1.7 billion people and increasing every day versus if you have a smaller pie but you're sharing it among 25 million people, then there's a big difference there. So please like, share, subscribe, uh, comment and consider donating your time or money to the campaign to help GAP get in. Uh, we're heavily focused on the constitution. As far as I'm aware, we're the only party that openly states that uh, all of our policies and legislation and regulation must comply with the constitution and that is what the law says as well, but it is usually ignored. So we have government, uh, you know, doing what they want. And if the High Court bothers to accept someone's writs on a particular issue, which sometimes they don't, and that's not disparaging the court at all, uh, that is, you know, just reality, then, you know, if they can get away with it, they'll get away with it. So, don't let them get away with destroying our country. Thank you.